My next guest has been practicing dentistry for more than half a century and believes that many health issues that people have are the result of the condition inside the mouth. In his book, Rescued by My Dentist, Dr. Douglas Cook believes oral problems can lead to many health problems. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thank, Thank you, you so for having me. Oh, no, I'm thrilled you're here today because you're going to teach me a lot. Um, first, let's talk about you. Let's talk about your background. Well, I've uh, been working at this health issue related to the teeth for about the last 35 years of my 50 years in dentistry. And I feel that uh, it's so important for the public to understand what the mouth means to their health. And that's why I wrote the book. You also do a lot of seminars around the country. You've traveled yes. even to Australia, I believe. Uh, I've talked in Australia and in Asia and in North America, Canada, Mexico, and many seminars here in the United States teaching health professionals how important it is to know what the mouth is doing to their health. You're very passionate about it, and I know that because we've talked about this a few times even before you got here. And your, your book, what, I, what struck me first about your book was the title, Rescued by My Dentist. I thought that was very poignant. What do you mean by that? Well, I've seen so many patients that have been terribly ill, and when we correct their mouth by putting in the proper fillings, and removing infections, getting out root canals that are all infected, they get better. Really? So uh, the dentist is rescuing the patient. Nobody else has touched their problem. Unbelievable. You also brought some pictures to illustrate some issues that people have had yes. and what you've done um, to help them get better. Let's show some now for our viewers and talk to me about what we're seeing. Okay, the first picture is a root canal and to the left of the tooth is the abscess that was attached to the front of that tooth. And if you look carefully at the tooth, you'll see the different materials that were put in that tooth. All of them are not compatible mm. with the energy of that patient. They have a non-precious crown on top, they have a mercury filling underneath. This produces the electrical current with two different metals. Mm. So that's an issue. So we really have to look at this carefully related to the patient's health. And I was reading in your book, and I actually wrote down here two examples of two patients, and this is actually extraordinary. A woman who was suffering from pain, that's the first example, and a woman that was suffering from a chronic cough. You examined them, and tell our viewers what happened. The first lady had pain for over 33 years mm -hmm. from two root canals who were placed when she was 17 years old. She had been to Mayo Clinic, she had been to all the big clinics in Wisconsin, and uh, nobody could figure out why she had this constant head pain. And she was taking a lot of medications too. So, yep, and in order for me to find out, I put some uh, local anesthetic over the two root canals. Within 30 seconds, the pain was gone in her head. There's also something else that you talk about in your book about the mercury inside. Explain that to me. Yeah, the mercury is, uh, carries an electric current like a little battery, and that's constantly aggravating the whole system. And depending on the individual as to how uh, bad that really is for them. Some people can tolerate these things. Other, Other people people. can't. What about the lady with the chronic cough? What happened with her? That was a 20-year cough that almost uh, made her pass out every day from coughing. And we took out one mercury silver filling, and then we took out a metal partial. That night, it was gone. Wow. Just suddenly gone. That gone. So I guess for someone like me or someone out there that's going to go visit their dentist, I mean, what should they know and what alternatives are there that you believe are safer and better? Well, uh, there are uh, materials that have no metal, like aluminum oxide, that's a metal. Iron oxide is a metal. Fluoride is a toxic material which affects the brain. And the uh, metal fillings or the crowns that they make can be made from material that does not have this effect on their health. So the bottom line, doctor, is like whatever maybe you're feeling inside in your, your body, whether it's a cough or a pain or whatever, a migraine, many times we could look inside our mouth and solve yeah, those the issues. Si the simplest thing is to do non-invasive steps first. In other words, do something that you can look at, you can fix it, and see how it affects the, the system. And that's by removing the metal fillings removing the infected teeth. All root canals are infected before you do them, after you do them. Many dentists don't like to hear it because it's a great source of income, but you've got to think of the patient's health first. Thank you so much, doctor. It's been great talking to you.
Thank great you. information. Yes. And if you want to learn more about the doctor's book, go to dentistryhealth.com and search for Dr. Cook's book. It's called Rescued by My Dentist.